Hi folks, Slick Slices here. Last time out we looked at this fairly basic uh, Otto Messer, which is kind of the sort of bottom of the range with a fairly um, plain sort of wood, um, stainless steel bolsters, stainless steel liners and so forth. Today I'm going to look at a slightly dressed up version. This is kind of, um, if this was uh, Cinderella in a uh, scullery maid outfit, this is what happens when the fairy godmother comes along and blows a bit of fairy dust all over her. Um, i say that was a good working knife, nothing wrong with it. Uh, this is two. I mean, I would still say this is a knife that you would put in your pocket and carry. It's not a super special collector's uh, edition uh, knife. It's a nice bit of wood, nice bit of grain in it and so on. Um, but similar, maybe slightly better than... The Arthur Wright um, basic knives, um, but it's a you know it's a it's a nice bit of wood. Looks good. Certainly be happy to carry that. Unlike the basic version, we also we've got brass pins and we've got these um, sculpted uh, bolsters, which is a feature I really like. I'd like to see more of that um, on more knives. You tend to see it on very high end sort of masons and people like that, but you don't tend to see it on uh, everyday uh, everyday knives much. And this is a fairly everyday knife. We're we're only talking about the fifty to sixty pound price mark. It's not a hugely expensive knife. The other thing, which uh, obviously you won't have failed to uh, miss, is the three big brass pins now that's if you like a, a logo thing or you know design um mark rather than anything structural those pins don't go into anything they're simply uh pins in the wooden uh cover in terms of blade just like the basic one it's a spear point and Just like the basic one, for those of us in the UK, it suffers the same uh, issues. The blade is sort of three and three eighths, cutting edge, three and an eighth. You know, you could almost argue it's legal, but it's not. It definitely isn't. It's just at least a sixteenth, if not an eighth, over the three inch cutting edge in the UK um, legal system which you know it's a line and it's the wrong side of the line again you've got a nice little picture of the otter eating his fish and in terms of the uh, tang stamp you've got uh, this one's is Solling in Germany um, as opposed to the other one which said Ross Fry Solingen, though I think this one is also stainless steel. You can get them in stainless steel or carbon steel, um, whichever. Again, we've still got uh, uh, stainless steel uh, liners, but this is just a really nice knife. Now they do do um, higher end versions. Uh, there's one called the B knife, which looks um, doesn't I don't think it has the sculpted. And bolsters, but I could be wrong on that. But it has a hexagonal shield on it instead of the pins, um, with a picture of a bee on it, hence the bee knife. And it comes in some nice woods, like pear wood, and I can't think what the others are. But it's a th choice of three really, really nice um, woods. And they come in a bit more expensive. They're more like the sort of £100 mark. So, you know, you've got the, the basic version, the mid version and then you've got the, the sort of posher ones and i think there are various other variants on the theme but i really like this knife and this would be of probably of, of of all the otters that i've got this is the one that i would most like to be able to carry because i think it's the most useful um well it's no more useful than than that one but it also at the same time it offers um, some degree of uh, style and uh, sophistication to its design 
which means it's you know sort of pleasing on the eye as well as uh, being a, a useful working knife. Now, if you like this stuff, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see uh, more of these, and there's some more uh, otters, but slightly different ones, then uh, remember to hit the subscription uh, button and uh, don't forget to ring the bell or you'll not get notifications of other lives coming up. So thank you very much. See you again soon. Bye.